I've got to go and film upstairs quickly. Yes. Um, these are office chairs. Yeah. Would you better build one for me just to see what they look yeah, like? I'm going to try it. I'm sure we'll manage it. Because I've ordered two just to see what the quality is like. Yeah. Um, so if you build one and it's good quality, I can order a few more. Cool. Yeah, I'm going to do this. Okay. Thanks, mate. I'm yeah. going to go upstairs and do a bit okay, of filming. I'll see you later. Yep. Gave myself a boo-boo. I managed to cut myself um, when I was finishing part of the ceiling here. I'll show you in a minute. Um, but yeah, welcome back to another video, everyone. Um, you saw on Monday morning, Steve and Rick in the back garden, and they were clearing um, the back corner of the convent. It was really badly overgrown. But in one short morning, those two managed to clear it, and it looks absolutely amazing. So thank you to Steve and Rick. Here is the repaired ceiling everyone. It looks absolutely fantastic. Um, I'm just missing a bit of profile which goes between the skylight and the ceiling. Um, I'm actively looking for that at the moment. I did find it online, but I'm trying to find it somewhere local, um, like from a builder's merchant or something like that. I've replaced the old fluorescent lights with these LED panels. So they're really good and much more efficient. So once we've done the big space we're going to do the corridor here is all the flooring everyone there is so much of it there was over a thousand kilograms of this stuff <laughs> um, it's a really nice color though it's a very traditional oak color there is some more through here there we go so here you can sort of See the colour of it, it's quite nice. I was really really hoping to start laying the floor this week but unfortunately some other jobs have taken much longer than expected so um, we'll have to do it next week or the week after hopefully. Let's go and see how Alexander's getting on with those two office chairs. I hope they look great and they're good quality. I can order more. Wow. The chairs look amazing. Yeah, they're nice, aren't they? You don't look so bad too, Alexander. Oh. But the chairs look really nice. Oh, it's quite comfortable. Are they comfortable? Yeah, nice. That's good. Wow. I'll push you through, Alexander. Okay, okay. <laughs> Yeah, they look pretty good. Wow. How high is the ceiling, Billy? Uh, the ceiling is nine meters high. Wow, it's quite high. It is. Beautiful. In here is the old confessional, Alexander. So if you were to confess your sins, <laughs> It would take you a few weeks, I think. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> It's such a shame to see a beautiful chapel like this in the sad condition that it currently is in. Um, so I do intend to restore this chapel to its former glory. Um, I don't have any specific plans for it other than it to remain a chapel. Um, so yeah, I've started buying um, things and materials to have it restored. Um, 
I'm starting with the lighting because I think it's quite a difficult room to light. So um, that will be a future video. So yeah, I look forward to restoring it. What happened, Alexander? The twig um, pricked me. It pricked you, did it? Yeah, but nothing happened. Oh, okay. Let's crack on. Let's crack on. What's wrong, Alexander? This time it pricked me a bit more. No, it's At the beginning of this week's vlog, you saw Steve and Rick clearing this area. However, today, Steve, with a little bit of help from Alexander and Marley, who you haven't met yet, started clearing this area. And it looks absolutely amazing. I mean, this, this was just completely overgrown. They've discovered some buxus, this granite bench and access to the washroom which is absolutely amazing i'm really really happy with that progress it looks amazing that's really, that's indeed. it looks absolutely amazing and these paths are actually quite nice just to you know to take a bit of a walk on it's going to be a beautiful garden when it's done i think it's going to be a very beautiful garden yeah, yeah. Very surprisingly, these roses have been here all along. They were hidden beneath the overgrowth. And look how amazing and beautiful they are. I want to show you all something very, very interesting. When I let everyone choose their own office, nobody chose the room that I'm currently sat in. And I think that's because it's a quite a small room, it's got a very small window and it's tucked away in the corner of the building. But this room is hiding a secret, which is behind the wall next to me. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna cut a little hole in the wall and we're going to discover what's behind it. The secret lies behind this wall. So I don't want to explain what it is, I just want to show you guys because it's really interesting and it's going to make this office the best office in the entire building. Right, so let's crack on. Wow, I can't believe what we've just discovered together. 
it's in such good condition. I'm so surprised. So it has this shutter which locks as well as a window that locks. That is absolutely amazing. Um, my only concern about it is that a small child could fall. Um, so I'm going to expose it, but I'm going to put a lock on the window so it can't be opened. Um, and that way it will be very safe. But can you imagine the chapel lit up, maybe in the evening, um, all glowing when we do the lights, and you know, sitting here with a desk editing, and you have that remarkable view. Because like I said, this room, this small office, has a tiny little light, and um, it really didn't have much going for it. And now it has. <laughs> So the only way I can describe this is a viewing niche for people to attend mass without actually um, entering the chapel as such. Um, maybe it was for someone important or alternatively it could have been for maybe sick nuns so they could still attend mass but not have to go down the stairs. Um, I'm not sure. But this is the most remarkable discovery I think at the convent so far. Um, the hidden room or something, but this is definitely my favourite. And now my office <laughs> is the best office at the convent. Um, it was a very plain room with no features and a tiny window, but now, well, it's amazing. So thank you so much to everyone for watching this week's video, and I'll see you all next Sunday.